Good evening, friends. Thanks for joining me on Natalie Bussell Yoga. I'm Natalie. And if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so by clicking the button below. I'm releasing new videos every Monday and Wednesday. So this evening we are going to focus on rest. The Bible says, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. That's Matthew eleven twenty-eight. 28. So let's go ahead and get started and find yourself sitting on the mat in a cross-legged position. Sitting up nice and tall and your shoulders are back. Let's rub our hands together and close your eyes. Take in a few deep breaths here. Keep breathing. And let's bring our hands to our eyes. Just relax your face, relax your eyes, and wash your face. Good, and go ahead and relax your hands on your knees. Take a deep breath in and out. All right, let's interlace our fingers here. And on our inhale, we're gonna push them forward and up. And really stretch up. And we're gonna stay here and breathe. One more time, deep breath in. And on your exhale, release and just rest your hands on your knees. Breathe in and breathe out. Good. Interlace your fingers again. Inhale, push them out and up. On your exhale, lean over to your left and you're looking over your right. Good, we're gonna stay here for two more breaths. Deep breath in. Exhale. One more breath, deep breath in. On your exhale, come back and release. Hands on your knees. Deep breath in. And exhale. Good, inhale, interlace your fingers again. Push out and up, exhale over to the right this time. You're looking over your left arm. Inhale up, exhale. One more breath, deep breath in. Exhale, release. Hands back on your knees. Good. Deep breath in. Exhale. Okay, we're going to interlace our fingers again, but this time at our middle back. And if you're able, straighten out your elbows and push out your chest. We're going to inhale, get tall. And, and on your exhale, forward fold bringing your hands up behind your head. Good, stay here for two breaths. Deep breath in. Slowly release. Deep breath in. Slowly release. Good, on your inhale, come up. Release the bind. And relax your hands on your knees. Good. On your next inhale, drop your right ear to your right shoulder. Again, deep breath in. On your exhale, drop your chin to chest and slowly roll to the other side. Left ear to left shoulder. 
Deep breath in. Exhale. Deep breath in. On your exhale, dip your chin to chest, roll to the other side. Take a few moments here, listen to your body. And just roll the side to side. If you need to stay somewhere and breathe, please do so. And just take your time here rolling very gently side to side. Stretching out your neck muscles. Good. Next time you come to center, go ahead and bring your head back up. Inhale your arms up. And exhale, twist to the right. My left hand is on my right knee. My right hand's behind. I'm inhaling, get tall. Exhale, look behind. Inhale, get tall. Exhale, into your twist. Inhale, come back to forward, arms up. And exhale, twist to your left. This time my right hand's on my left knee and my left arm is behind. Inhale, get tall. Exhale, look behind. Inhale, tall. <clears throat> Exhale, twist. Good. On your next inhale, arms go up. And exhale, your hands resting on your knees. Good. Let's go ahead and straighten out our legs in seated staff pose or dadasana. And shake out your knees and <clears throat> move your ankles around. Keep breathing. All right, we're going to make our way down on our backs. So go ahead and slowly release your body down to the mat. <coughs> Excuse me. And from here, we're going to try fish pose. So to get into fish pose, <coughs> I'm going to come on my elbows behind my back. And from here, I'm going to move my hands underneath my booty and then scooch so my head drops to the mat. So this is fish pose. I don't have a lot of weight in my head on the mat. It's just barely touching. One more breath here. And when you're ready to come out of the pose, push through your elbows and relax your back back down. Very good. Let's bring both knees to our chest here. Deep breath in, slowly exhale. On your inhale, push your knees away from your body, away from your nose. And on your exhale, gently bring it back. It's a very small move. Inhale, push away. Exhale, bring them back. Good, keep your right knee to your chest, drop your left foot to the mat. We're gonna extend our right leg long, foot to the ceiling for a hamstring stretch. Your hands can go behind your leg, <coughs> sorry, behind your thigh or behind your calf. And you're just gently pulling your right leg towards your nose. Notice if your lower back is wanting to rise off the mat. And just gently release your lower back down on the mat. Deep breath in. 
On your exhale, release your left leg long, heel to the mat. Inhale, bend your right knee, and on your exhale, pull it across your body for a supine twist. And your right arm can come out, and you're looking over your right side. Good. Deep breath in. And out. Good. Keep breathing. Okay, we're going to come back to center and we're going to do a figure four. So my left foot is on the mat and I'm just crossing over my right ankle. My right hand is going to go through the hole and you can grab on behind your thigh here. Or if you want an extra stretch, you can hold your um, shin. Both of my feet are active. So my toes are pointing towards my knees and my heels are down. Good, keep breathing here. One more breath. Good, exhale and release. Let's do the other side. So inhale, left knee to chest and foot all the way up Hamstring stretch on the left side. Again, you can hold behind your thigh or your calf. And you're gently pulling your left leg towards your knee or towards your nose. As you breathe, drop your lower back on the mat. It has a tendency of wanting to roll up. Deep breath in. On your exhale, release your right leg long, heel to mat. Inhale, bend your left knee and exhale it across your body, supine twist. Left arm comes out and you're looking over your left shoulder. Stay here and breathe. One more breath here. Good. Gently come back to center. We're going to prepare for that figure four on this side. So bend your right knee, right foot to the mat, and cross over your left ankle. My left hand's going through the hole. You can grab on behind your thigh here or for an extra stretch your calf or your shin. Make sure your feet are active. So my toes are pointing towards my knees. My heels are down. Keep breathing. Good, and release. Let's bring both knees to our chest, cross your ankles, and we're gonna roll up to sitting. So you can kick your feet towards your face, and then exhale, roll on up. Perfect. From here, we're gonna get on our hands and knees because we're gonna do some stretches on our belly. So lower yourself back down to the mat on your belly this time. Release your forehead to the mat. My hands are by my chest with my fingers spread wide open. I'm rooting down my pelvis into the mat. The tops of my feet are rooting down in the mat and it's lifting up my kneecaps. Okay, we're gonna inhale, come up, baby cobra, 
I'm barely putting any weight in my hands and then I'm gonna exhale, roll back down. Good, inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, roll back down. Last time, inhale up, baby cobra. Elbows in, exhale, come back down. Good, push through your hands and knees and we're gonna to come to a tabletop position. And in normal tabletop, my knees are under my hips and my wrists are under my shoulders. But now I'm gonna walk my hands way forward on the mat here for puppy pose. In puppy pose, I'm gonna come down and I'm sinking my heart to the mat and then I'm going to rest my forehead and my forearms on the mat. And this is really opening up my chest and my shoulders. My knees are still up, but are underneath my hips. My hips are up. Good. One more breath here. Push through your forearms to come out of the pose. And let's come back to a regular tabletop here. Good. So I have a neutral spine. My wrists are under my shoulders, knees under hips. We're going to do a shoulder stretch here. So inhale your left arm up. And then you're going to exhale, thread the needle between your arm and your knee, and you're going to come all the way down. So you're resting your left cheek and temple on the mat. From here, extend your right arm long to enjoy this nice shoulder stretch. Okay, we're going to come back the way we came. So move your right arm back down. We're going to push through that. We're going to inhale, left arm up, and back down on the mat. Good. Other side. Inhale, right arm up, and exhale, thread the needle. My right cheek and temple come to the mat. Shoulder stretch. Option to extend your left arm long. Good. Just stay here and breathe. Move your left hand back down towards your face. Push through, inhale, right arm comes up, and exhale back to tabletop. All right, we're gonna do a nice big opener. I'm just gonna move my mic so I don't sit on it here. Come all the way down to your belly, and extend your left arm to 10 o'clock. And then go ahead and rest your left cheek and temple on the mat. My right hand is by my chest, elbow in. Bend both knees so your feet are in the air. And then you're going to drop both feet over to your left side. This is stretching out the muscles in the front of your shoulder. Good. Just stay here and breathe. Option to lift your right knee up for a deeper stretch. Good. Release back to center. And we're going to do the other side. So extend your right arm to 2 o'clock your right cheek and right temple to the mat bend your knees feet are in the air drop your feet to the left good stay here and breathe 
Option to lift that left knee up to get a deeper stretch. Again, you're going to feel the stretch in your front shoulder, kind of near your armpit area. Good. Release. Come back to center. And we're going to push through tabletop this time. Open up your knees as wide as the mat. And exhale into extended child's pose. Stay here and breathe. Next time you inhale, move both your hands off to the left of your mat and exhale into that side stretch. Good. And let's do the other side. Walk your hands over to the right side of your mat and exhale into child's pose. Good, release, come back to center and just walk your hands towards your body and you're sitting on your heels. Very good. All right, let's come back to a seated cross-legged position. And let's do a little bit of pranayama. What that means is a breathing exercise just to soothe our ner nervous system for the evening and prepare your body for bed. So sit up nice and tall. You can relax your hands on your knee any way that's comfortable. Let's breathe in for the count of four, three, two, one. Hold for two, one. Exhale for six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold for two, one. Inhale for four, three, two, one. Hold for two, one. Exhale for six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold for two, one. Inhale for four. Hold for two. Exhale for six. Hold for two. Inhale for four. Exhale, or hold for two. Exhale for six. Hold for two. Do two more rounds on your own. to our heart. Go ahead and bow your head. Close your eyes. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for the gift of rest. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you for joining me this evening. I hope you feel a sense of relaxation and peace, and I hope you have an abundance of rest tonight. Again, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so by clicking the subscribe button. And you can also check out nataliebussell.com and see what all is going on. 
And I hope you have a wonderful evening. God bless.